Finally, a chance to see how a real medical facility operates. Finally, a chance to see what's in this tissue. Kleenex, you never fail to surprise me. Hey, Joe, you mind if I borrow a pair of your socks? No, I don't want your disgusting feet in my socks. Oh, okay. What the? I never said you could borrow these. That's why I gave them back. They smell like rotten eggs. There are rotten eggs in them. Those are for my arches. Would you like to go to the ice cream social with me? Oh, I'm gonna lose my virginity tonight, one way or another. Oh, no, I don't need you anymore. Oh, maybe I'll call you. Crap, I'm all out of clothes. What did you do with the ones you had? I threw them down the laundry chute, just like I do at home. That doesn't lead to the laundry room. It leads to the magical candy room. Psst. You know, sometimes I think Joe takes me for a complete idiot. Oh my god, what are these? Get them off! Get them off! You want to borrow some of my clothes? No. Remember what happened last time you let me close? Oh. <laughs> oh, what the hell am I supposed to do? I don't have any clothes to wear. Yeah, I seem to be running out of clothes, too. But I think that's because some jerk keeps taking them out of the laundry room. Hey, if some jerk can take clothes from the laundry room, so can I. So to answer your question, Ms. Darwin, while we are making new medical breakthroughs on a daily basis, right now there's no way to be certain if someone actually has cancer or is just faking it to get attention. Um, excuse me. I was reading the chapters in the textbook you recommended we skip over, and it occurred to me... Loser. 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 Anyway, I realized... <laughs> a little respect, you jackass. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The radiation makes my throat dry. Loser. Dr. Heminger, where's all the modern equipment I read about in the textbook? If you had followed instructions, you would have skipped those chapters, and you wouldn't be behind the rest of the class. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't it? I mean, I'm asking you, because I'm totally lost here. I took so many painkillers this morning, I can't even think straight. Dean Earhart, Barter College is in serious trouble. Applications are down 73%. Graduates cannot read above a fifth grade level. That's two grades down from just three years ago. I don't think your statistics reflect the quality of student on this fine campus. What the hell is that? Oh, uh, I don't know. Kill it! Gentlemen, as you can clearly see from this graph, Barter College is showing significant signs of improvement. That's just a piece of poster board with an arrow. An arrow pointing up? I think we can all feel pretty good about that. This college is an embarrassment. If you don't turn this school around, you'll be forced to resign. You can't fire me. I have naked pictures of your wife. Everyone has naked pictures of my wife. She's a porn star. I wouldn't say she's a star. I mean, she's, she's an up-and-comer. All right, I'll turn the college around. Well, I don't know if we should be taking these clothes. How does my ass look in these? <laughs> Uh-oh, gambled and lost. That's too bad. Your ass looked pretty good in them. Really? Then maybe I'll keep them. And this is the intensive care unit. You talk about high tech, it's even got a pinball machine. Isn't every medical facility required by law to have a cricothyroidotomy kit? What about a gastroduodenectomy scope? What a buzzkill. A stethoscope? A cotton swab? Now he's just making stuff up. We do have ton depressors. Let's go, hand it over. I got a ton of sick people out there. I can't believe you failed your remedial math class. It's not my fault, the teacher hates me. Okay, I'll have one asparagus, and one asparagus, and one asparagus, and one asparagus. How many is that? Eleven D blue? Ah, oh, crap! You ruined my favorite shirt. It's brand new. That's my shirt. What? No, it isn't. I just bought it. Then why is my face on it? Hmm? Hmm. Oh! 
<laughs> Funny story. And if I ever see you in this cafeteria again, you can expect more of the same. Whoa, that was a close one. And in this next room, you'll find the patient check-in area where our highly trained staff assesses symptoms and forms a proper medical diagnosis. So, Mr. Horrigan, how many drinks have you had this morning? Um, two? Mr. Horrigan, do you want me? I want you so bad. We got another one, Chuck! Once a diagnosis is made, our staff takes the appropriate steps to put the patient on the road to, uh, not sickness. Fire up the stomach pump. I can't take the stress. I need some Tums. Damn! I need another quarter. Dr. Heminger, this equipment is appalling. Look at it. I mean, even on a stomach pump, it's standard issue to have five combustion chambers, not three. At the very least, it should have a hydraulic intake system. And if you then pressurize the valves, why you'd be able to pump five times as many stomachs. What the hell is he talking about? I don't know, but my head is gonna explode. Make him stop! No! Son, are you capable of constructing what you just described? I should think so. I worked at NASA for three summers in high school. Is John Glenn a phony? He seems like kind of a phony. Uh, I wouldn't know. He was in the Senate. Look, I don't have time to listen to you gossip about your co-workers like some bitchy junior high school girl. I need to put Barter College on the map. If you can build this machine, I will personally see to it that you get the best college education money can buy. You'll help me transfer to another school? Why would you want to transfer? We lost another one. Popsicle stick? No, student. Okay, okay, geez, you're like a friggin' broken record. I'll help you transfer. And finally, allow me to address a serious issue that concerns all of you. Alcohol and drug abuse. Wait a minute. You can't start a tour by saying, and finally. I'll do what I want, Potsy. As I was saying, your children will ingest a staggering amount of alcohol in college. What, dear? But we here at Barter are facing this problem head on with the revolutionary Stomach Pump 2000. The Stomach Pump 2000? But it's already 2002. But this is the Stomach Pump 2000. He's right. My kids will be safe here. It does sound futuristic. <laughs> I'd like to see an Ivy League college beat that. Well, Princeton just hired Nobel Prize winner Joseph Luhmann. That guy's a homosexual. <gasps> what? It's true. I know because Joseph and I are lovers. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, honey, but it seemed like the most appropriate time. Hey, Sanford, want to go to the cafeteria with us? I can't. That girl's waiting for me. <laughs> They're serving chimichangas. Ah, uh, I'm so hungry. Hey, Sanford. Sanford, are you looking at me like I'm a chicken again? Well, fine. Two can play that game. Hey, this is kind of fun. Kinda. Totally. Hey, can I join in? We've always tried to instill our son Bobby with good values, but we failed. And now he's going to turn into a raging alcoholic just like his stepfather. Where's my dinner, you whore? And that's why we're sending him to Barter College. We can rest easy knowing he'll be protected by the Stomach Pump 2000. Stomach Pump has not yet been invented. Beautiful. Hey, before we let you in, we're going to need to see your transcripts, mister. Sir, it's an actor on tape, on TV. Oh, uh, sorry about that, son. Don't want to shake hands, huh? Get this kid out of my office. Warrior needs food badly. I bet Joe keeps food in there. String, you don't give me very much credit, do you, Joe? 
Sanford? Where the hell have you two been? Did you guys get me a chimichanga? Yes. Can I see it, please? Actually, you can't. We gave it to that bald kid, Jimmy. We thought it would be funny to give Jimmy a chimichanga. Get it? Jimmy? Jimmy Changa? <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this anymore! I won't be held prisoner in my own dorm room! I'm getting me a Jimmy Changa, and nothing's gonna stand in my way! What time does the cafeteria close? In a half hour. Okay, cool. Perfect. Joe, you signed out the hall's vacuum cleaner two days ago. Oh my god! Molly McSucker, what has he done to you? I needed a few parts. What gives you the right to sacrifice one machine for another? Who are you to play God? This is for the Stomach Pump 2000. <sighs> the SP2K is being designed by a freshman on my floor? I'd like to see Father belittle that. That's exactly how I'm gonna do it. Three, two... <clears throat> I warned you. Now I'm gonna make you my bitch. Blimey! I broke a bleeding tooth! Wait a minute. This can't be mine. It's white! Ow! No! Stop! Please! Now say, I'm your bitch. <laughs> I'm your bitch. You're damn right you are. <laughs> some guys have all the luck. So do some girls. Good news, Dean Earhart. Applications are way up. I'll be darned, we already got six. And this chick sounds hot. Tomorrow, we'll be Barter College's finest hour. All right, let's see how this thing works on a test subject. Cindy? Almost there. It's all yours. Here goes nothing. Are you crazy, kids? I got your ball over here! Wow, I actually caught it. <laughs> Dean Earhart, we can't unveil a stomach pump tomorrow. It's just not ready. Listen here, freshman. Your whole academic career depends on you having this pump ready by tomorrow at five. But it might kill somebody. That's the price of higher education. Students die on this campus every day. Why, two died this morning when I was parking my car. And now, for some reason, she thinks I'm her bitch! She's even making me go on a date with her! Oh, man. Do you think you're gonna do the special hug that makes the stork come? Oh, God, I would never... Unless she made me! Unless she pinned me down and forced me to! That's how I lost my virginity and my kidney. Now I can't process liquids! <laughs> or she could put one of those Spanish fly pills in your drink. My daddy calls them meat and mints. Bethany! I was on my way, but I had to... That's one. And I don't count to two. Me neither. Now get that sweet ass of yours in gear. I'm hungry. And not for food if you catch my drift. Where is he? I know a girl who swims like a fish. Hey, laddie, laddie, laddie. Sailors caught her and made her a dish. Hey, laddie, laddie, lo. You're late. Let's see the goods. Now, you show me the goods. So, all you have to do is light the bag on fire, ring the doorbell, and run. It's perfect. Now on.
on, the name Joe Tate will be synonymous with alcohol poisoning. What the? Ah. <laughs> Good people of Barter College, honored guests, weird religious guy in rainbow wig, thank you all for coming on this very special occasion. Show us the stomach pump! Oh, uh, the stomach pump will be here very shortly. In the meantime, please enjoy some free punch and our clown, Mr. Clownsy, who is making balloon vegetables. Here you go, a green bean. Damn it, I asked for a cucumber! Oh. Oh, down I go. Here, you can wash it down with this. Drink up. Or she could put one of those Spanish fly pills in your drink. I said drink up, sweet cheeks. Oops. Oh, geez. I've spilled the whole drink. Let's go back to my place. Why? You know why. The way you're dressed, shaking that moneymaker. There isn't a court in the land that would convict me for what I'm about to do to you. Where the hell have you been? I did it. I've pumped 12 quarts of alcohol from a dozen chimps and one Amish kid. The stomach pump is fully operational. Well, I don't get it either. It feels like ice. But it looks like a unicorn. Well, let's not question it. Let's just enjoy it. I'm getting wet. So, if it takes alcoholism to bring this day to Barter College, then I say, God bless alcoholism. Fighting will only make it worse for you, and better for me. So, without further ado, I present to you the Dean Earhart Stomach Pump 2000! Outstanding. The what? She's my creation, and you have the audacity to call her the Dean Earhart Stomach Pump? No, it's the Dean Earhart Stomach Pump 2000. I'll show him. Now it's the Dean Earhart Stomach Pump 2000. Let's see it work! Well, we're gonna need somebody who's hopelessly drunk. What about that guy? Yeah, he's gotta be hammered. Look at his date. Good God, you're right. She's a beast. Get that poor bastard up here. But wait! I'm not drunk! Get your own piece of ass. That one's mine. I mean, I am so wasted. Hook this boy up. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness stomach pump history. We'd like to talk to you someplace where it's not raining vomit. Please let it be Bennigan's. Please let it be Bennigan's. It's not Bennigan's. Oh. Hey there, hot stuff. Did I ever tell you how beautiful you are? No. Well, you are. Let's get out of here. Thank you.